Hi, and welcome to another episode of building the uh, Gingery milling machine. Today we're going to um, align the headstand, or the headstand ways, to the bed ways. Uh, this needs to be um, aligned parallel with the ways. ways. It also needs to be um, 90 degrees to the ways. So um, let's first set this up so we can uh, measure <coughs> the parallelism of the head, the headways to the bedways. So, we need to build up we need to build up the, uh, the bedway surface and to do that the help of some G clamps. We'll just check Make sure that that's um, those edges <coughs> are even. Okay. Now, let's mount the headstand in the approximate position, which is um, this <coughs> front face to be um, even with the bed front, front face and this side face to be um, even with the the right edge of the um, the return in the bit in the bed. We'll set this fellow up. I've cut this off 
so I can drill the, uh, the first hole. Put that in the approximate position and clamp it down. If I can find my my clamps are there. So that one there. Sorry about that, but it's uh, a little bit after 9 in the morning and it's about 35 degrees and the humidity levels through the roof. Let's check the, uh, that this is parallel. going to be in the correct position. about correct. Twenty millimeters. Nineteen. Okay, where are we? Oh, 19.1. Uh, 20, 19. Close this one. Point four. Nineteen point three. <coughs> Indicator out. The uh, dial uh, vernier is out. It's easier to read, but they're not metric. Something metal.
87 and 87 72 Well, I had to go away and um, <coughs> reset this up because it just wasn't working and uh, my eyesight's not that crash hot so I had to go to the um, Imperial Vernier calipers but I've managed to um, get this alignment now pretty much half a thousand so we got 20 Even less than half a thou. So the alignment, the alignment of this bar is uh, now spot on. These are um, tight. Had to put some extra clamps on. The um, <coughs> the spacer piece that I had to put in was moving around as I was top uh, tapping the uh, the guide piece. So now it's in position. So if I I can now put this into its proper position I'll just come back a little bit Yep, that's good. The um, I still have to come back and um, redo this anyhow because at the present moment I'm just lining it up for the first anchor anchor bolt um, and if, if you remember back to when I was fitting the bed ways I mentioned that you do a first anchor bolt and a second anchor bolt and then you can drill the rest and tap them and the idea of that was doing the first and second was to anchor the plate in place so that the other six or seven holes wouldn't disturb the plate in relationship to the bed. Well, it did. It still was out uh, approximately 12 thou. And the only thing I can think of is when I uh, drilled through on the second anchor, anchor bolt, uh, my, the drill must have shifted slightly in the drill press, the dimple into the, into the, um, into the bed wasn't uh, deep enough and I think the drill walked walked off a little bit by 12 thou. It doesn't matter the 12th it's only it has to line up perfectly with this this face so it has to matter now but um, this one here as long as the carriage the clamps are clear of the bedways throughout its travel so 12 thou won't be a problem um, so now we need to oh yes I need to drill this pilot hole now that's not tightly clamped so I'll get a F clamp Thank <laughs> you. 
through. And um, the um, I pre-drilled the positions for for the headstand. So the two holes in the back and the two holes in the front I've already pre-drilled into the headstand, and that moved. Well, that's all right. That's good. That's why I clamped it. Okay, I'm off to the drill press. <laughs> 